YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Now, in this particular video, this young lady is talking about how she built a business that's now worth $20 million, how she plans to scale it to $100 million. But the most important thing in this video, and the, one of the reasons why this is the, one of the most important videos, is because of her mindset, okay? And you'll get to see what I'm talking about once we get into this video. Now, let's just go ahead and get straight into it, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Entrepreneur. How long have you been a business owner for? Three years. Three years? Yes. I go all over the country just asking business owners their best advice to new entrepreneurs. Could I ask you a couple quick questions for the channel? Sure. Awesome. So what are you doing right now in entrepreneurship? I own an online fitness and nutrition company. And you've been in that business the last three years? Three years, so yeah. what was the most amount of money that you've ever made in a single year? So the most amount of money that we have done will be this year. We'll do north of $20 million annual reoccurring revenue. $20 million. $20 million. And, how did you and that's just the start, by the way, okay? Because yeah. we're going to scale this thing to over $100 million. That's incredible. I know mm -hmm. we can do it. Let me first ask you this. How did you scale this company from just seven what? to eight? Wait There's a lot of business owners, they have a great idea. They start, they really struggle to scale. You specialize in scaling companies. What took your company from seven to eight figures? First of all, you got to dial in capturing the demand. So marketing and sales is huge. If you don't have somebody overseeing and driving the function of marketing and sales, you don't have a business, right? Mm -hmm. But then the, the challenges then that you face as a business owner is not just capturing the demand and then converting it, but fulfilling the service so that the client experience doesn't break. So that requires somebody who has a lot of operational experience to come in and build systems and process. Now, as a multiple eight-figure entrepreneur, what was the best financial advice that you ever received? So that, that's very important. And that's one of the components, and it's going to get better in this video. Just wait. That's one of the m most important aspects of business is how are people going to hear about your business? How are you going to entice them? Um, how do you prove to them that what you have is something that can benefit them? No matter if it's a product or a service, marketing is one of the key components to scaling any business to a multi-million uh, business. So, but just listen to her mindset as this video goes along. You have to bet on yourself. You can't focus on what you're making now. So there was a time that only made $19,000 a year, right? But here mentally, I was always rich, you know? So it's a mindset. You have to take the money that you're making and continuously reinvest in yourself. Sick. And you have to keep doing that all the way through. That's how you're going to earn more money over time. So you're the best bet that you can make. A lot of people Man. value money over valuing themselves. I value myself over money, which is why I'm so rich. How old are you now? 43. How old were you when you became a millionaire? I was actually 40. 40 years old. So I guess it took me a long time, right? So it's never too late, right? Age is just a number. It's all about how you feel and, and that energy that you have inside. But if you were to go back in time and have a conversation... Just, just so much knowledge and, and so much more knowledge that she's going to give you. But just, you know, that, that one simple thing that sounds simple, but it's so hard for so many people to do. And that's better on yourself continuing to reinvest in yourself to continue to reinvest in a company and that also com comes along with marketing if business slows down for example if you had gotten a good start or if you just all to a slow start what are you going to do to find the clients that you need what are you going to do to find those consumers that are going to pay for your product or service and so betting on yourself and and Betting on yourself more than the money, being more valuable than the money is something that she's expressed. And so let's talk about some of the key components she would tell her older self. With your 20 year old self, when you were starting from zero, what's the best advice that you would give to your younger self? To not give a fuck what anybody thinks about you. You right. have to believe in yourself. I think when I was younger, I didn't have relentless belief in myself and I wasn't unapologetic about who I was. It took me a long time to be who I am today. You got amazing advice. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I you. you. Hard Knox family, this video has been crazy so far. So, that that's it, guys. You can't go into business worrying about what other people think and just for an example right there's a, a video we we spoke about not long ago about a person starting a, a a dog pooper scooper business where they go around and and scoop the, the dog poop up yard the yard and they turn it into a, a multi-million dollar business and so at first they said a lot of people were laughing at him and then it's to the point now where he gets a laugh, right? Because ultimately at the end of the day, yes, you have people 
that are gonna look down on people that scoop poop for a living, right? Or become a, a, a trash man, or some people laugh at, at people at what I do, which is, I've been in IT for a while. Yes, you make a decent amount of money, but you have some people that believe in their mind that they're elevated so far above people as a person that that gives them the power to laugh and make fun of somebody based on what they do to contribute to society. And so one of the things that I, I like about what she said is you can't care about what people say. If you know what your path is, stay on that path, do whatever it takes in order to get to where you need to be, okay? So I just wanted to get you this video out here, inspire somebody, motivate somebody, and it's really all about the mindset, guys. Your mindset is going to take you however far you want to go, right? So if your mindset is, is negative, let's get it positive. Let's uh, get focused. Let's get disciplined. And if it's something out there that you want to do, let's make it happen. So that's what I got for you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.